Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm gonna be doing a few unboxings. Actually, I already unboxed like two things, but I wasn't even filming. So the first thing is my new printer. It's here and I'm excited. So this is the printer that I got. It's called the HP Tango. Um, I have the HP Envy right now and I was just gonna stick to that same HP Envy line or whatever but i wanted to try something different and that's just really purely for printing i don't need any scanners or facts and all the other things i don't need that um i just need legit a printer so i found this one and i like how this one is like smaller hopefully it seems to be smaller so yeah i'm excited to try this um yeah i think i mentioned i got this for myself for my birthday so happy birthday to me i'm so happy that it's here it was supposed to come in like october or something like mid of october but it came earlier so yay so that is one and then i opened the package and it's just like a it's a box for my phone to be traded in when my new phone comes which is tomorrow so i'm really excited about that um i also got a package from see amy draw um, I ordered washies from them because I saw Grace did an unboxing on these. I believe I will link Grace's video down below. And that made me want to buy these washi tapes. So let me just show you um, the stuff that came with this. There's quite a bit in here. Not just washi. There's like extra goodies, I think. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to show you guys my address, but I, I literally just ordered her washi that um, Grace showed in the video because you guys know I love Schitt's Creek. Um, because of Grace, I love Schitt's Creek and she had these washi tapes with um, David's sweaters. So you can see right there. So one has like the grid background and the other one just has a gray background and... They both have holographic foiling, I believe. Um, so I will link these below along with Grace's unboxing video. You guys should definitely check out Grace's video because you can see the washi a little bit, like way better than this. Um, by the way, yes, I broke my nail. So anyways, that, <laughs> that is what I got or ordered. And then it looks like there's, there's like this cute little thing. Oh, fun. Oh, this is already done. She was in the Planner Boss um, collective sale. That was like this past weekend. And then we have a little Girl Boss Anna overlay stickers, overlay tapes. Oh, they're just like clear washi or something that looks like that. I think these are just freebies from other shops. So that's that. And then, oh my God, look how cute this is. Look how cute this is, and she drew my name. I love that. That is adorable. I'm going to keep this one. That's cute. And there's also, like, a little... Oh, cute my knees. And I just, like, little business cards, but they're, like, the calendar. Oh, my God. That's so cute. I love that. That's a cute little idea. So yeah, that's what I got from C. Amy Draw. I will link it below. What else did we get? Tom got a package here. I'm like curious of what it is. But what is this? That came so quick. So I ordered this sweater from Loft in stores. Because they didn't have my size in stores. So I had them order it for me. And it's already here. That was... When was that? I think Sunday? Sunday? And it's Thursday today? And it said that it just shipped yesterday. So I didn't think it'd be here today. Um, anyways, this is... Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. I got it extra small. I hope it fits. Oh yeah, it's gonna fit. Um, so it's definitely a loose fit. But this is the softest cardigan. They told me it's a new arrival thing, so it's a new product at Loft, and it was pricey. I think this was, I paid 70 for this with tax and everything, but 
It's so worth it. This is probably the softest sweater I have. Cardigan. Because, yeah, this is even softer than my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I had to have it when I saw it in stores. Oh my god, look how baggy this is. I love it so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is extra small. I probably should have gotten extra, extra small. Oh no, it's fine. We'll make it work. It still looks really cute. And like, I honestly plan on just wearing it around the house anyways, for the most part. Um, you guys know I like to wear uh, like sleep slips for to go to sleep and stuff or like big shirts and I in the mornings it's really cold so I would just throw this over whatever I'm wearing so yeah a little pricey but so worth it so 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 comfortable I'm excited I haven't wanted a cardigan like I did when I saw this I, I felt this in the stores and I was just like I have to have it it's the softest thing I've ever touched so that is that i'm gonna go and like unbox my printer with you guys we'll go in my office for that and like we'll set it up i'm so excited is that weird i'm excited for a printer i've had my current printer i think 2000 i think tom bought that for me 2017 17 or 16 and yeah, it's been it's it's time to upgrade, right? So I was telling Tom like I really just want to get a printer, and he's like, "Go for it!" So I'm really excited. I mean, I'm gonna keep keep this one. That's gonna be like a family printer. It's gonna go in our family office over here by the by the living room. So he Tom can print on that. Like if Liam starts school next year, so he can print whatever um, if he needs to. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> toddlers or preschools do but um yeah he goes to school next year oh my god he's getting so big um yeah anyways okay i'm excited got a new printer let's go set it up before the printer i want to share with you what i picked up today i got like three things for myself at um marshall's and one thing from home goods so this i found out marshall's look how pretty this is so you guys know I'm going to start doing watercoloring really, really soon. I plan on doing it this weekend and probably filming my first watercolor try thing. Um, anyways, I needed something to put like water in. I was just going to use the mason jars that I have here already, but I was like, um, I saw this and I'm like, I, I need that. And it's only $2.99. And this is like plastic, which is pretty awesome. They only had one though, so I'm definitely going to be like on a lookout for another. Because it would be nice to have two, like one clean water and one dirty water for water coloring. But this should be fine. It's just so pretty. Look at it. And like, it's iridescent. So pretty. And $2.99, you can't go wrong. And then look what I found. I found this at Home Goods, And it's the same exact frame that I have so this is the one that I have and this is actually broken I don't know if you can tell there but I had to have Tom super glue this and everything because this was cracked and all of that so yeah there's even tape on that so um yeah anyways I found another one so now I can have two acrylic puzzles I'm so excited I bought this like from our old house of so 2007, 16 or 15. And I haven't found it ever since until today. That's crazy. And this is the brand. The brand is Isaac, Isaac Jacob. It's actually the same brand as my bookcase. So that's cool. Anyways. Anyways, super excited about this frame. I can't wait to get an acrylic puzzle and put something there. And then the last thing that I saw was this. Um, I found this at Marshalls. Uh, our Marshalls always have a ton of like, um, not a ton, but like a good amount of like art supplies, things like this. They, and I found that they had this, just one though. I wish it was two, cause I know Grace loved these. I would have gotten her one if there was another, but they only have one set, but definitely going to keep a lookout for it. But it's just so much cheaper there. Um, I believe the one that I got at Michael's was like $26.99. That's expensive. This is $12.99. 
it says here compare at 15 but yeah i'm pretty sure they're like around 20 dollars but i'm excited this is pastel pastel so yay more tombow markers Okay, let me point you down a little bit here. Okay. Oh, it's so cute! You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of my HP Sprocket. <laughs> like, it looks just like that, but like a bigger version. So funny. See? That's so cute. I love how it's so small. What the heck? This is the smallest print I've ever had. Well, except for my sprocket, but wow, and this is the tray and like this pulls out. So, you know, when you dispense the paper. All the things are here. And the card one card and we have the ink this is so cool so cute and small and you put the paper through here oh my gosh this is beautiful so there you go guys that is the printer I'm gonna go ahead and set it up where my printer is kind of like let's just do a switcheroo I think that's what I'm gonna do and then we're gonna test print
Hi loves! We're going to do a little unboxing right now because I just can't wait. Um, so, my 2022 Louis Vuitton agenda is here. This is called, officially, the... This is what it is called. The Office Weekly Agenda Refill for 2022. And I ordered mine on the 17th and it came in today. Today, I believe, is the 21st. So, that did not take long at all. And what is this? Usually these don't say anything in it. It's just like a little card or something. Yeah, it does not say anything in it. That's super cute though. Like you can keep it for if you do give someone gifts or something like that from Louis Vuitton and it didn't come with a card. That's a good way to do that. So anyways, let's just go ahead and open this. I'm just going to take the ribbon off. I always love the packaging on these. Here we go. Let me try to kind of keep that looking pretty there. Okay, so here she is. Lovely illustrations. I mean, you can see that on the website, but they don't show you all the illustrations for the insert, like for each month. So. She is so pretty. One thing that I don't like about the Louis Vuitton agenda is the spiral cord things. I think that's what they're called, right? Um, I really wish that it's like gold or something because the Das Agenda cover has like gold accents, I believe, or the foiling does at least. So um, I just wish it was gold. Anyways, just gonna zoom you guys in here a bit so you can see the pages when I flip through them oh it's so cute I love this I really love like the bags and the trunks so when you flip it this is what that looks like you can put in your information yearly with all like the holidays I believe Okay. Oh, there wasn't a pull out thingy. Like last year had that little pull out, but it looks like they have it like this now, where it's just like a few two pages instead of one and that pulls out. So, anyways. Here we go. So it does have the last week of December and then this is what January looks like that is so pretty oh I really want to go back to Paris so if you're not familiar with uh, the layout the weekly layout this is what it looks like so you have Monday through Sunday Saturday and Sunday are like in one column and then you have this area right here that you can do whatever with. And if you are wondering, this is the exact same width as the Hobonichi Cousins. So it's 1.3 instead of 1.5, like the Happy Planner. So this is February, March, April. That is so, so pretty. I love this so much. It's my favorite so far. Here's May. <gasps> June. Okay. This is probably my favorite. Because I really love this trunk. I wish to have one one day. July. That's pretty too. Love that. Ooh. August. Here's September. That's lovely. Really cozy. October. New York. Lovely. November. I really love how it's like different cities. And December. That is so pretty. And let's see what... Okay, so it ends to January 1st. Because January 1st of 2023 is a Sunday. So that's really cool. And then you have this little calendar... For 2023, little notes area here. We have one, 
two pages of notes, not a whole lot at all. And here's the stickers for this year. You guys, I just realized there's no monthlies. I am very upset right now. What in the world? Is this the right thing? 2022 diary refill. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go look and see what's up.
loves so it might be a little loud since I have my cutters going well one of them now but wanted to end this vlog by kind of just like talking about the 2022 Louis Vuitton agenda refill that I got I feel like I didn't end it whatsoever I feel like I just like kind of was so shocked that there's no monthly pages and then I just kind of ignored it Anyways, yeah, I wanted to end it this vlog by kind of just talking about it. So, still sad that there's no monthly pages, but um, just like my other my other one, like I'm using right now. Um, you guys know I added like inserts and um, you know like vellum dashboards and stuff like that. I have a whole video about it. I'll link it right over here or over here, I think. Um, so it'll be in the cards and also in the description box down below. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and make my own monthly pages and insert it in that. And then um, also make some vellums, dashboards, and my goals list again. Even though last or this year I never got around to actually making my goals um, list. I just made the dashboard for it. I'm like, good job, Char. But um I really plan on making one for next year, especially for my shop. Um, and yeah, so just stay tuned for that. I ordered uh, paper, special paper to play with uh, to make as the inserts for the Louis Vuitton agenda because 
In my planner right now, I just use normal printing paper. Um, but yeah, I want to use something a little bit better, kind of similar to the Louis Vuitton paper quality. So hopefully this is it. Um, it's coming in today, so I'll do a whole video on it and stuff once it gets here and then like let you guys know. Also, um, it might be in my shop because I know a lot of you also got the agenda refills and I've gotten messages on Instagram if I was going to do anything for it again um especially the vellum dashboards a lot of you really want me to get back to that so i will keep you guys posted i'm gonna play around this weekend when i get the paper and also play around with, play around with vellum and stuff like that so pretty sure that's coming to the shop but that is pretty much it i'm just here working on orders i got like a really big order yesterday um and also this morning i finished orders and i actually ran to the post office already had my robe on and everything um but yeah busy morning already and it's only 10 in the morning um but yeah i'm just gonna be here working on orders and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!